The Baroque style is characterized by its exaggeration of wealth and power and served as a major religious and political movement during the time period. Baroque architecture makes use of distorted building elements to accentuate features such as light, shadows, and curves. It uses curving forms such as ovals and concave and convex forms, as well as the repetition and massing of elements such as columns or decorative embellishments. The Baroque style is typically only found in churches and palaces due to its dramatic and ornate character. Most of the artistry was commissioned by the Catholic Church to illustrate its financial superiority in the midst of the Counter-Reformation. Francesco Borromini was one of the leading figures of the Roman Baroque architecture movement. He studied the works of Michelangelo, so his style combined classical architecture with the modern trends. Some of his most renowned buildings include San Carlino, Oratory of St. Philip Neri, and the St. Agnes in Agony. The San Carlino has a beautiful curved facade that employed Borromini's intricate design and engineering skills tasked with finding a building across campus that symbolized or represented Baroque architecture. And unfortunately, as I walked throughout campus, I, nothing really caught my eye until I got to the academic building where I saw a large, glooming dome that really brought your attention, your eyes, to that single dome. That's what Baroque architecture was about, was focusing on, on the domes on the top and that centralized view. Uh, In 1682, the Palace of Versailles became the official residence for French royalty. It has Baroque architecture style, especially by its large curved forms, its twisted columns, its high domes and complicated shapes. It has the interior design of the ceilings with the paintings, and it has these giant courtyards just to scream wealth, which is what all Baroque architecture had back in the day.